Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us and being patient while we worked out our technical difficulties. Um, a lot of questions that came up over this fall semester was effective dating. Um, and so I'm briefly going to talk about effective dating and the dates that we should be using. So kind of bear with me as I use examples. And then as I go into Catalyst, into a test environment, we'll be able to see how the effective dates work in a CPP stack. So if you're updating an existing program plan stack for the following term, use the day after the current term plus a day. So if you're discontinuing or changing a plan for spring semester, the effective date that you should be using is 12-11-2016. If you're updating existing program plan and the program plan change will occur for the current term, and their request is submitted before the census day, then you're able to use the first day of the term. For example, if you're changing a CPP stack for spring semester of 2017, you can use the following effective date, 01-09-2017, and you can do that up until census date. If you're changing it after census date for summer semester, you'll use the last day of spring plus a day which for this will be 04-28-2017. Okay, let's get into some examples. I am in a test environment, so we're going to go to Jamie Fraser, and we're going to go ahead and change Jamie Fraser's uh, program plan. We're changing his plan for spring semester. And you can see the breadcrumbs at the top, main menu, campus solutions, records and enrollment, career and program information, student program plan. Okay, we can see that Jamie Frazier has two car numbers, zero and one. Zero is an ANS back, and one is an ANS minor. Let's go into the ANS back. So we can see that Jamie Frazier matriculated. And we can see by the student plan that currently he's a history BA. Jamie no longer wants to be a history BA, so we're going to go ahead and change him to a comm major. So go ahead and hit the plus sign. This will be for spring semester. So I'm going to use the effective date 12-11-2016. The program action will be PLNC, and the action reason will also be PLNC. It's not there. Sorry, I'm in test environment, so it's not there, but that's not a big deal. So we're going to go ahead and go to the student plan now. Everything on this student program section is complete. And now I'm going to hit the little magnifying glass in the academic plan section and find communication. It's right here. You can go ahead and go to the student sub plan if you think that there's a sub plan. For communications, there isn't, so we are finished. And we're going to go ahead and hit save. Let's go back to return to search. We're still in car number zero in the ANS back. But when you pull it up, you can now see in the student plan, it's calm. If you want to see what the student was prior to, click Include History. And toggle at the top, you see one of two. If you hit the arrow over, you can see we're two of two, and the old program was History BA. So Jamie Frazier is now a comm major for spring of 2171. Jamie also has an ANS minor. And Jamie would like to discontinue or exit his ANS minor for at the end of spring semester. So at the end of spring semester, we're going to close him out of his minor. So go ahead and hit the plus sign. 
And this effective date, because it's taking effect at the end of spring semester, will be 04 2017. The program action will be discontinued. Toggle out. Everything on the student program tab is complete, so we're going to go ahead and head over to the student plan. It's going to give us a warning about the tuition calc, and that's okay. If you can't remember what the ANS minor was at the time, you can go ahead and hit view all and go ahead and copy and paste. At that point in time, you can hit save. We know that we've successfully saved and discontinued the minor at the end of spring semester due to the effective date and the last updated and the person who did it, which would be you. Great. Jamie now wants to add an a, a C E C H minor. So let's go ahead and add a new value to add the C E C H minor. We already know zero and one car numbers are in use, so let's go ahead and use student career number two. Hit add. The effective date is defaulting to today's date, but we don't want it to do that. It's okay for the minor, but let's go ahead and just do 12-11-2016 since it's taking effect for spring semester. It's going to be active. The academic program is 18 min. Admit term is for spring semester 2017, so 2171. If you tab out and go down to 2171 for the requirement term, you can see that everything on this page is now okay and go to the student plan. Jamie would like to be a CJ minor. So go ahead and click CJ min and save. So now if we go back to student program plan for Jamie, we can set C, we have an ANS back, an ANS minor in a car one, a C each minor in two. Knowing that we just discontinued the ANS and the CECH minor is now active. So for Jamie, we have now changed his plan, closed his ANS minor, and added a CECH minor. Now we're going to add a subplan for a student. Claire Frazier only has one CPP stack, so it automatically pulls up. We can see that Claire matriculated in the fall of 2015, and her current plan is nursing BSN. Claire needs to have her subplan changed. So what we're going to do is go ahead and hit the plus sign. The effective date will be for spring semester, so the effective date will be 12-11-2016. The last day of fall semester plus a day. The program action will be PLNC for a plan change. The academic program will remain the same if she's still remaining a 29 baccalaureate student. Go ahead and head to student plan. In the academic plan field, we're going to go ahead and add back what she had before. And again, if you don't remember, go ahead and hit you all. And it's a nursing BSN. Now we're going to go to the student sub plan. and hit the magnifying glass, and choose a BSN to MSN. Go ahead and hit that, 
and hit save. Oh, hold on. <laughs> there we go. If you're unsure if you hit, if you saved, hit save again, and it'll pop up over here. But we can go back to the student program. We know that we successfully updated because of the last updated on and by with the effective date. So we've successfully now added a sub plan to Claire Frazier's e staff. We're going to go ahead and go to return to search and hit clear. You're now going to do a change of program within the CPP stack. This is Brianna Fraser, and she's currently a 20 back in a student plan of E. So we're going to go ahead and hit the plus sign. Again, because this is taking effect for spring semester, effective date 12-11-2016. And it's a program change. And the academic program is going to change to 20 BC. Because now she's in a co-op program. The admit term will be 2171 with the requirement term of 2171. Everything on this page looks good, so let's head over to the student plan. Hit the magnifying glass. She's going to become a computer engineering. Let's go over to the student sub plan to make sure that there's not a sub plan to add. And there's not. So I get out of that and hit save. So now we successfully did a program change for Brianna Frazier. Go ahead and go to return to search. And Brianna is now going to move out of CAS. She's going to go into business. So we're going to go ahead and add a new value. Student Career 1 in the undergrad. And hit add. This is taking place for summer of 2017. So for 20, summer of 2017, you're using the effective date 05 08 2017 because that's the first day of summer semester. Your program action will be ACTV. The academic program is a 22 back. It's midterm 2175 for summer of 2017 with requirement term 2175. Student plan. And have a sub plan, so we'll go ahead and hit save. Let's go ahead over to term activation so you can kind of see. Well, summer's open, but at term activation currently, she's CEAS. If we term activate her, or 2171. She's still CEAS because the 22 back does not take effect until 2175. So she's still okay. And if you even select and hit the magnifying glass, you won't see the 22 back yet. It's its effective date and the start date is until summer semester. So just be cognizant of that when you're at it.
Roger is a 22 back student. He's currently a marketing major. And he would like to add an additional major. So we'd like to have two majors. So we're going to hit the plus sign. This is for spring semester, so we're going to do 12, 11, 2016. PLNC for a plan change. And MHAR for additional major. Head over to the student plan. Let's go ahead and add back what was there. We need to add that back, so we need to put back the marketing BBA. And then right here, we're going to hit plus and add the additional major of finance. So you can see we have two rows. And go ahead and hit save. I'll go back into Roger. So you can double check. So we have a plan change in major and the student plan. And we have one of two rows, the finance and the marketing. So we successfully added a major plan for Roger. Colin McKenzie is a current ANS student, 15 back, student plan, calm. He also has an additional plan of organizational leadership. Colin would like to exit the organizational leadership plan. So we're going to go ahead and remove that. What you're going to do is hit the plus sign. Again, because going to be for spring semester. Effective date is 12-11-2015. And it's a plan change. So go ahead and go to the student plan. And these can be a bit tricky. So you can see if you go to one of two, it's blank. But if you go over, organizational leadership is still there. Subtract the row, organizational is remaining, that's the one he wants to be in, and hit save. And so now we've removed a row. We've removed a plan. So now he used to be in two, and now column is only in one. But if you go back a row, you can see all everything that he was in. So the history still remains, even though you removed that row. We've had a few questions on what a student's certified program looks like in Catalyst. And so right now, I'm going to show you what a certified degree looks like in Catalyst. So we're going to actually go to CBA Associates, so student career number two. And we'll go to the student program tab. You can see the effective date was for the end of fall semester of 2015. The program action is complete with the action reason of degree. What's different than what you've been seeing in the previous CPP stacks is we now have an expected grad term of 2158. If you go to the student plan, you can see the academic plan, which is student certified, which is pre-criminal justice. And then you can head over to the student degrees tab and see it's been awarded. There's a couple other places that you can go to also see the degrees. Main menu, Campus Solutions, Record and Enrollment, Graduation Student Degrees. So here you can see his degree. It's Associate of Arts, undergraduate, the fall of 2015. It's been awarded. 
doesn't have any honors. It's a degree plan. So that's how you can tell if a student's been certified as a certified degree in Catalyst on the CPP stack and also going to student degrees. Let's go back to the CPP stack to see what it looks like when a student has actually applied for graduation. Go into the CCH back. So you can see that he applied on November 2nd and there's a data change row with the action reason of grad. So the effective date is midterm because the student actually has taken the action to apply for graduation and by applying for graduation, that updates the stack. You can see that the expected grad term is also populated for the fall semester of 2016. Student plan is J. The CPP stack will remain this way until either the student has been certified for a degree or has been removed. The student has also applied for their CCH certificate with the same program action and action reason. Data change row and applied for graduation. We've had a couple of questions, and if, if we change a plan, do we need to change the term? You should not, it's, you should change the term. Um, you don't have to change the requirement term if you're going to be using the curriculum for the degree audit. So that's really a college decision, but if you're changing or adding a program or CPP stack, you should be changing the term. Um, another question was graduate programs. The graduate school, should be really the only grouping that should be touching the stacks for the graduate school. Um, and that was the same way in, in the old student information system. And that's pretty much, pretty much it for me.